So you're the rookie that's gonna shock the world, huh? Sure as heck gonna try. Good. I'm glad you're here. Just remember, it's all out there for you. Work hard, listen, watch how we do. And you got a chance to be something special. Now let's see what you got. Thanks. I'm happy to be here, man. I'm pumped. Let's do it. We are live at the Staples Center for a Western Conference contest with the Los Angeles Clippers here in L.A. The Nuggets will kick off their road trip right here. And, of course, they are still without Blake Griffin. Well, with him being sidelined, it's going to take some creative work by this coaching staff to keep the ship afloat. I mean, they just can't roll the ball out there and let them play. Not without him. They've got to make some significant adjustments. Yeah, they've got to figure out which combinations of players are, are looking good for them. Uh, they may have to. It's go time. Check in. I'm on it. No shot. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a loss to Washington. And guys, they were really plagued by foul trouble in that one. Forced them into some makeshift lineups late in the game. And Steve, the frustrating part for me in that situation is you can defend without fouling. Just move your feet and don't use your hands. A baseline J, and that one's good. Dixon's got his second basket of the night. They've made one basket after another. And a moment happening right now, folks, and the fulfillment of a lifelong dream, a special individual, Taking to the hardwood as we'll get to watch the first official NBA appearance from Edwards. Just an amazing story we have here, Clark. Here is someone who has had to scrap and fight. every bit of the way but now he's made it on his own to an NBA floor. You know he got passed over by all 30 NBA teams during the draft but he stuck with his dream and now here he is. I mean let's hope he can make the best of it. And let's take a moment to show you the NBA's best rebounding teams over the last 10 games. The Nuggets number one. Yeah what a show of strength and rebounding we've seen recently. These guys playing extremely physically. And here is Hawks looking for his first basket still in this one. They've done a terrific job rebounding here so far, allowing no second chance points. Well, you talk about 
effort and energy being a skill. Some people talk about those things as skills. And Kenneth Fareed is a 10 out of 10 in that category. A 6'7 power forward. His athleticism and relentless motor allow him to play much bigger than that. Turkaloo outside. Feeds it to Crawford. And Hawes kicks to Paul. And the pass to Davis. Good. Nice, accurate pass right into the middle. For the Los Angeles Clippers, they come in off a good outing against the Suns. And guys, they could have won that game on the strength of their offense alone. It was that good. And a momentous occasion, folks, as that basket represents the very first official NBA scoring tabulation from Edwards. And on a personal level for him, that's a basket that you remember for the rest of your life. Your first NBA points. You remember yours, I'm sure, don't you? No doubt. Well, I don't remember mine. I was actually being dragged around the court and had a miserable night. Two of 17. I do remember those statistics. But I think in this case, it will be a memorable first bucket for him. And he's got tremendous potential. Let's hope that he realizes it throughout his career. Clippers trail by 10. Paul outside. Kicks it to Crawford. Turkaloo outside. Back to Crawford. That three off the mark. Really good performance so far on the boards for this club. Boy, I like the way they've done a great job carving out space under the basket when the shots have gone up. Free dishes to Lawson. Pass to Edwards. Lock at six. Here's Chandler. And there's another one for the Nuggets. Now, I'll tell you what, they've been a step slow here early on. I agree with you. I mean, they're allowing too many open shots. They've seemed a little sluggish to me. Davis with a screen on Lawson. Down low, here's Hawes. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. I like that they're taking it inside and taking advantage of each opportunity. Clark to chip away at the deficit. Yeah, and doing it with the dunk is a major energizer, too gets the momentum going. Yeah, and I think the interior defense as good a job offensively as, as we saw. The defensive presence was almost non-existent. On tap Wednesday, January 28th, Ty Lawson and the Denver Nuggets go up against Anthony Davis. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter here for the Clippers. Spencer Hawes has checked in for Jordan. Davis comes in for Turkoglu. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for Barnes. And it's Paul in for Jordan Farmer. CP3 and Jamal Crawford make the backcourt. Glenn Davis out there with Spencer Hawes. And it's Reddick in a small forward. That's who's out there for the Clippers. <laughs> the Nuggets have gone 5-12 from the field here in the second. Hawes in the pass to Edwards. Second shot opportunity, and the layup good by Hickson. Hickson's got six. It's a great play under the boards for him, and, you know, that's the standard that he sets. It seems like all those second-chance points, I mean, they're there for him game in, game out. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, gentlemen, if you ask Coach Doc Rivers about DeAndre Jordan, he's going to say something along the lines of he can single-handedly change a game with his defense. I genuinely see traits of Bill Russell. Jordan said, to be compared with somebody like that, I take it to heart. Defense is my first, second, and third priority. I know that Doc instilled that in me. Kevin? There's greatness and respect to be had doing the dirty work, Doris. Thank you. Edwards, that's good. They're hovering around 50% for the game in three-pointers. That's pretty good. But they've really elevated here in the second quarter. The drive by Paul. And with that, the Denver lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Hawks. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. The shot's good from Lawson. Boy, he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Paul kicks to Crawford. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his seventh assist in the game. 
You know, they really aren't putting up any resistance on the low block. That's the fifth consecutive basket inside. And Steve, these looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Pause in the pass to Edwards. Pause with the rebound. Pause got eight rebounds in this game. Stolen by Fareed from half court. Can't hit. And the first half ends in a close one. Nuggets ahead, up by one. Time. All right, fellas. Still anyone's ball game right now. A few things from the first half. We were able to throw off their offensive rhythm with good ball pressure and heads up deep. Let's keep picking their pockets and jumping in those passing lanes. Now I'll give credit where credit is due. We've taken very good care of the basketball. Turnovers were scarce, and we need to keep it that way. And let's head out there in the third with one play in mind that will get our offense rolling. The pick and roll. Let's see what kind of answer they have for that. If we go out there and show the killer instinct I know we have, this is not a team that can stay with us. Let's up that intensity. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half. So the Clippers with the win. Clark, what a game. Yeah, they kept... The bad news is, you play like a 50-year-old rec league bum, and we lost the game. You're supposed to ask me what the good news is. What's the good news? Good news is, I don't think it's possible. It's supposed to be making me feel better? Nah, man. It's supposed to make you understand that it ain't just you. We all got work to do if we're going to do something special this year. So put this one behind you, learn from it, and move on. All right? <laughs> yeah, all right. But a 50-year-old bum, though? If the shoe fits. Come on, man. Hey, Rook, keep your head up. Oh, whoa, Coach Rivers. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I just I ain't playing very well. Yeah, everybody has down nights. Don't dwell on it. I've seen you play. You've got game. You'll bounce back. Just keep working hard. I will, for sure. Thanks again. <laughs> 